Hi there. In this how-to, we're going to show you how to connect your GAPSHA by WhatsApp account. In order to do that, ensure that you've created a new journey in any of your folders and you should be able to search for in the trigger section for GAPSHA WhatsApp like so. Once you click on it, you'll find that you get two triggers, uh, event, which could be new media and a new text message. New media is for files of any kind like PDF, audio, video, uh, stickers are going to come up in the new media. And new text message is a plain text. So we're going to keep a new text message for this demo. Now you might have already have an existing connection or you can create a new one. Since we are in the how to, how to create a connection, we're going to create a new connection and click on link account. Okay, you will be presented with a screen like so where you have to punch in the following details, an API key, a source number, and an app name. Furthermore, there's some optional field regarding how to integrate with a human agent chatbot uh, agent, uh, which would be quick work chat agent dashboard. We, we're not gonna go into that as of now. So to get the API key, uh, the source number, and the app name, you need to go back into your GupShip dashboard and scroll to the very bottom or wherever your app is, mine is over here, which is called as a quick work demo. Now I can hit the settings and again scroll to the very bottom and I'll be able to see my API key, my source number and my app name. So let's just copy that sequentially, copy the API key, paste it in the API key section copy the uh, WhatsApp source phone number, paste it in the source number section, and finally, the app name, which would be the src.name, copy that and paste it in here. Now, please keep in mind that don't keep any special characters or spaces in between while making this copy pasting uh, exercise uh, because if you, for example, copy and paste quick work demo with this colon in the front, then it will give you an connection establishment error. Let me zoom out and now let's link the account. And that's it. You have linked your account successfully. Now the next steps is to get this thing working. Right? So what we need to do now is go into your messages. Um, well, type in anything that you like as an intro message. And you can choose whether you want to send it or not, but this is a mandatory parameter. So I'm just going to keep it as simple as copying, pasting, hello, how can I help you? And I'm going to choose not to send this welcome message. You can choose yes if you like. Then you get this URL. This is a callback URL which you have to copy and paste it inside the WhatsApp uh, dashboard of GupShop. That's where you scroll up, you click on the callback URL, you click over here, you paste it in and you press set. In a few seconds, you should see callback set successfully, which I did. So we are good to go with GupShep as well. Now you can build your workflow as you like. For now, what I'm going to do is I am going to type in WhatsApp by GupShep and send a message. And I'm just going to reply to anybody who sends me a hi, hello, or any kind of message. I'm going to reply back to them with hello, how are you doing today? Question mark. And in the phone number, you have to put in the phone number of the person you want to send this message to. Generally, you can use the app directory and the sender ID to send it to the person who actually sent you this message. Close this, save this. I'm going to change the name of the journey. I'm just going to call it WhatsApp by Gupshub, send a message WhatsApp by Gupshub. That's as simple as that. Save and start. So we are good to go. Now the final step would be to test this. So let me just go to web.whatsapp.com search for gupshop or add the gupshop phone number in your uh, in your mobile phone how do you do that you just scroll up you can scan this qr code okay which is one of these things so you can copy this url and get it or rather you can also pretty much just uh, scroll down further 
and if you remember we copied and pasted this uh, source phone number just save this contact number in your device and you should be good to go once you save this contact number in your device you just will see a screen like this I have done a few pieces of testing over here but you will see a blank screen and then what you have to do is type in here first thing is proxy space the name of your app now in this case your name of your app could be um, in my case it's quick work demo I'm gonna copy and paste this over here enter it says welcome you're chatting with quick work demo and now if I say hi ideally I should get my message back hello how are you doing today and we have successfully connected our journey builder with a GupShop connection and a quick verification and if you click on the refresh on the history you should be able to see your latest journey where somebody with a phone number messaged us back so I can see that history went out successful um, and that's that thank you very much for watching this uh, how-to I hope you have a great day thanks